Louisiana Beer Reviews Coffee Peanut Butter Cup Porter. Porter with peanut butter powder, coffee, and lactose. And this is from Campanology Brewing of Wanaki, Wisconsin. Um, seahorse inside of a bell. It's 9% alcohol. Wow. I bought this at Trader Joe's for $3.99. Well, Campanology is a Trader Joe's brand, and it's actually contract brewed and concocted by Octopi Brewing of Wisconsin and um, that's all that Octopi does if you get on their website that's they say we are a contract brewer give us your recipe and we'll do it perfect you know that's that's what they do for their business okay so anyway there were two bottles left Michael Komarov thanks to you he uh, alerted us on alcohol legs the Facebook group that this was on the market and I said, next time, next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm going to get it. And I made an effort to go this past weekend, yesterday. They're renovating that house, and he's building that boat house, that boat house. So, okay. A rather spongy, thin beige head would be thicker in a narrower brim glass. Lots of bubbles on this clean glass. Um, brown, dark brown, but not black. It's getting overcast out here. Hazy clouds. 9, 10 a.m. Oh. Very chocolatey and coffee on the nose. So they're using peanut butter powder. So dehydrated peanut butter. All right, makes sense. I think that's what they use for a lot of these flavored beers. Whether it's cranberry, um, you know, black cherry. I think they're using some kind of dehydrated product. And they pour it in and it rehydrates. Then they filter the beer. You got it. Peanut butter. Coffee, dark, dark roasted malt. And I like that they're using real peanut butter and not that peanut butter flavoring, which to me tastes like a salty pretzel. I guess they traded noise, taking turns. <laughs> I don't live in an, an industrial area, I, but I i guess I should say I live in an, in an industrious area. Their favorite hobby is to do work. Huh? Could be a lot worse things to do. It's such a rich beer. The Trader Joe's website talks about it's a dessert. It's to be drunk after dessert. I mean, as a dessert after a, a meal. And it's so rich. And it's like a Reese's peanut butter bar, actually. And I don't think there's any salt, except that there's probably salt coming from the peanut butter. Silky mouthfeel. High, medium, nearly heavy body. And a medium sweet finish. Look, <laughs> a porter with this thick of a mouthfeel and this high of an ABV, I think we could remark that this is a very stout porter. A very stout porter. And uh, yeah, the old complaint about bombers, they should be 24 ounces, not 22. I know that when um, Blue Moon was doing their big bottle series, like. Um, Proximity, using wines, grapes, great series. They were 9% too, knockout beers. They're, they were using 25.4 ounce bottles. Now that was the way, that was the way to do it. 
Of course, they weren't three ninety nine a bottle. They were like nine dollars and ninety nine cents a bottle. Um, and they had the graffiti series from uh, Blue Moon, and I think that was also uh, twenty five point four ounce bottles. That's the way to go. But anyway, I'd rather have that even twenty four, twelve and twelve. But I'll go ahead and count this as two beers. You know. High ABV, nearly two, 12 ounces, so heck. It's rich, it's silky, it's chocolatey, it's coffee ish, it's peanut butter ish. Uh, I like Trader Joe's products. Uh, some people slag on them. Um, I don't know why. I haven't tried any of their liquor except that, well, there was, okay, even I did, because I didn't like the cream sherry that they had, okay, that one uh, from Spain, that didn't taste too good. And that Pierre Duchesne uh, French brandy, that was not too good, it was probably the least enjoyable French brandy I'd ever bought. So, mm, their liquor brands, maybe they're not too good. I'd have to explore more if I ever get around to it. This is an A all the way, and it's a high A. This is a, um... <laughs> It's got a great look, a fabulous aroma, an incredible taste. It's right up there with the great craft beers in America. This is a 98 out of 100 all day long. That's how good it is. Absolutely great. And considering the price, $3.99, it's a knockout. They hit the ball out the ballpark. Campanology knows what they're doing. So, Laissez Le Bon Ton Relay, an outstanding dessert beer in every way. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to noisy <laughs> and usually warm southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>